Hey everyone, welcome to the workshop. Today we're going to build washer toss. I'm going to show you how to build it using the cheaper materials that you can find at your Home Depot or your big box store. So let's get started. What you're going to need to build this is two boxes that are 16 by 16, 16 inches by 16 inch box. So what we're going to use is we're going to use deck boards here. The reason I'm, I want to use deck boards for the sides is because it's a one inch thick. So it's nice and robust to put screws through and it's pressure treated. So if you don't want to paint it, the weather won't affect it. Now, most boards you will see online give you plywood. Um, you can put normal plywood if you want. It's not treated, so if the ground's damp or wet, it'll break down. And if you go to your store and look at pressure treated plywood, I know here in Canada, it's like 80 well, after taxes, it's close to $100 for a four, by, four foot by eight foot sheet of pressure treated plywood. Well, I'm only making two 16 by 16 boxes. So why do I need a four foot by eight foot, right? Piece of plywood and spend $100 for that. So what we're going to do for the bottom is we're going to use fence boards. Fence boards are nice and cheap no matter where you are. I know in, in the United States, it's probably not even $3 a board. Uh, ours are a little over five bucks, but still uh, $8 for an eight foot fence board or deck board and $5 for a six foot fence board. So obviously for, for one of these, you're going to cut three, three of them. So three at 16 inches, right? And that'll give you close to your 16. Now it doesn't have to be perfectly 16 as long as you can screw it in because you're five and a quarter, so five, 10, 15 and three quarters. So you're pretty close to 16. Once you butt them together, you're gonna get close to 16. Then you have a choice. Um, a lot of these places uh, are a lot of these people that make these boards put like indoor outdoor carpeting. You can go to your local store and see if you can get little panels. Some of them will sell just like a little, almost like two foot by two foot, just square panel. You can do that. You can go to your either carp store or even like your Home Depot, like box store and get a strip. Just have them cut 16 foot strip and that'll do it. Uh, you may be able to get it on Amazon. I'm since I'm going to be playing at my cottage mostly, I'm just going to throw sand in it. I have sand, I have a beach. You throw sand in it, now you don't need it, right? So um, another thing you're going to need is, um, I want to you know, latch it closed. So not only does the sand not escape every time, but as you can see, I bought colored washers as well. Now you can also go to your hardware store or your big box store and just get washers. But I like them colored so you know you can go and paint them yourselves. But unless you get the proper paint after constantly tossing them, the paint's gonna chip wear off. So these washers I'll show you are two and a half inch. And a half inch diameter washers so I got these on Amazon so they're color coded another thing you're going to need is four inch piping now it could be PVC like this is PVC or you can get ABS but I got a 10 foot piece of PVC four inch, the same price as 
a three foot piece of ABS. So um, now if you want, you can do ABS, ABS is black. PVC here and PVC is white here. Well, you can get PVC in multiple colors, but I got the white kind. And to secure it to the base, I just bought the caps, four inch caps, right? So that way I can glue it to the PVC and then screw this right into the floor. So I'm going to start cutting my deck boards to 16 inches. Now I'm going to cut them two at 16 and two at 14 because so the odor dimensions are are 16 by 16. The deck the deck board is one inch exactly or should be exactly. You never know with shrinkflation, but yep, one inch. So you do two 16 inch lengths and two 14 inch lengths and that'll get you your one box and then we'll screw them together and then we'll cut the floorboards three of those at 16 so everything's 16 well 16 and 14 okay so let's get to cut one thing i didn't mention is you may want to get some handles to carry it around and some latches so you can get these latches at your big box store or on amazon they're just calling them a toolbox latch they work good because as soon as you pull that up and clamp that down that's in there securely so that'll hook onto there so it it won't go anywhere. So I, re you know, I recommend these types of latches, but you can get any type of latch you want, right? So I just want to make sure you get all the pieces to m make these if you want, if that's what you're looking to make. All right, so that's all you need for one box. I've done it, you can see here, I did two boxes there well I'm actually making two games so it's four boxes I'm gonna need as you can see over here I got two more boxes right there so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the floorboards first and then I'll start assembling everything together So oh, the box is together now. So now when I put the floor together, I can make sure it's square. You can always check. And if it's not square, just you can loosen the screws a little bit and wiggle it if, it, if there's no play. So. Not a lot of play in this so for me to square it up see this this corner and this corner are square but these two corners are not and just loosen the screws a little bit see now it's moving so I'm going to square it up now I could leave these loose and just kind of put the floorboards on and that'll square it up with the floor and then tighten them you can do it that way too I think that's what I'll do so what you what I like to do is I want to see what part looks nicer but for the top this one has a little bit of wear so I'll put this as the bottom and then I can put 
the floorboards on this side. And since it's only half inch to five eighths, depends on your your fence boards, you can use inch screws or inch and a half screws. Inch and a half, I would recommend, no, not an inch, but inch and a half screws in for the floorboards. Now you can see that I squared up by loosening the boards and only putting one side in now. All square. All I did was once I loosened this, I left no screws in the back. I kind of pushed this here and then I pulled it this way so that whole side goes across until it's square and I put a couple screws in to square it off. Now it's all square. I can screw these back in and tighten them up and verify it's square and then put the rest of the floorboards in. Now you can see, floor is all in, square. So now if you wanted to put carpet in, you could put carpet in now. Now I'm not sure if you'd want to carpet inside there as well, but it's your choice if you wanted to Put carpet now or later. Um, now, to get that in, you have to kind of find the center. So, an easier way, I guess, to find the center is, is since it's together and you might have a hard time drawing a perfectly straight line, you measure the interior, inside, inside. So, you can measure inside and measure inside and then you'll get the middle so that's what i'm going to do like this one here is, is technically is 14 because you remember these boards are 14 so it should be 14 here and 14 here so you can measure seven and seven and that'll get your center okay so that's what we're going to do seven and seven i know where the center is here because if you look not only do they have little thing here in the center but it's hard to tell in the camera but if you look at the lines you can tell exactly where the center is here so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pre-drill a hole here perfectly in the center that way I can line up that mark with this right and then that will give me the center and then I can add a couple more screws along to secure this in place So I drill the hole in the center and I put a mark in the center there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of dark. So I'm gonna kind of throw a screw in here and then throw a screw in there to kind of get this in and then we'll secure it with a, some more.
So you got to screw it in. Now it does, you know, if you don't feel the screw tighten, don't worry about it. Just because it's going through this PVC, it won't grip into this. But it, you can see I'm pulling on it and it's, it's in there. It's just to make sure I had one in the center and then I did four on the sides. Just, sorry about the planing, like normal. Um, but now I can cut, I can do a measurement from here to verify it's five and a half, which it should be because that's the board. So, but if you want, since this is the thickness of this, it's hard to tell what the thickness is because, but it's probably not even, yeah, it's an eighth of an inch this way. So I'm assuming it's probably close to an eighth of an inch here, maybe three sixteenths. So you can kind of shorten that because when you glue it into here, it's going to sit up. Now, if you want, you can cut it at say five inches. And then as you get, get the glue in here, as you're bringing it in, you can put a board over top and then compress that board over the pipe until it's flush, right? You don't want this pipe sticking over because then when you put your latches together, if both boxes, if the pipe's just a hair over, it won't latch tight. So that's what you want. I would just do it a little bit smaller so then you can push it in. And even if you push it in with the board, so it's flush it here, you can always tap it even an eighth of an inch less, right? So it doesn't have to be perfectly in there. Now, how you cut your pipe is up to you. A handsaw is very easy to do. The only downside about a handsaw is making sure that it's perfectly square. Now, like I said, with you doing it less than five and a half if you only do it five now you have the play in here that it doesn't have to be square you want to make it square this way up and down so when you're pushing the board in with the pipe once you get it to the height then you can kind of check to make sure it's square up and down and you can use a little mini level at that to do that and then you can adjust it if you need to okay so i'm going to cut the piece of pipe i'm going to put that in there and then we'll finish up the video i get some plumber's glue hopefully i have some of that um you can always just you can always try some other type of glue to see if that'll work um if you don't do any plumbing and you don't need any plumbing you shouldn't you know i don't want you go and spending money on plumber's glue just for that when it'll just get ruined because um, plumber's glue likes to dry up on its own if it's not used so let me go and see what kind of what I have if I, if I don't have plumber's glue I do have some Gorilla Glue that is kind of like a all-purpose glue that it will glue plastics vinyl whatever so let me see if what I have like I mentioned, my PVC glue, it's all dried up, but I do have a pool and I have the, the pool glue that connects the PVC things to your tubing. So this will work just as good. So now what I'll do, is I'm gonna push this inside there and then I'm going to grab a piece of wood and then put it on top and slowly make sure it's on there to the point where it won't move so make sure you put a lot on here and put it on both make sure it's clean you don't want any of the, the dust or the shavings on it um, inside make sure it's clean as well. Some of this stuff does smell. So if you don't like the smell, you can wear a mask.
likes to bond, so you gotta be careful, right? As soon as you get that stuff on there, it definitely wants to stick to it and not move. So you wanna make sure you get it in place as soon as you can. So you don't have to adjust it. So I'm going to this. Luckily I got it into place because look at she ain't moving now. Okay. And now I'm going to need to do the second one here. I'll, I'm just going to do the second one. And then we get the, I want to do these clamps and, until we get this, them on there, right? So let me do the second one. We'll come back. We'll, I'll show you how to put the clamps on. If you have handles, you can put handles on and then we'll finish it up. Alright, first side done. I'm gonna do the other side and then we're done. And there you have it. I'll put a handle on there. I just had an extra handle thing around. The only thing is you have to make sure that the screws for the handle, if they're only an inch, you're gonna have to countersink in. And now the pipe's in the way, so <laughs> I had to play around with it. But you got the latches on both sides here to hold them in place. So now you can just carry it with your handle, no problem. Got some weight to it since they're one inch boards. And if you're going to put sand in it, you know, it's more weight. So it's up to you. You know, if you want to do some indoor or outdoor carpet, technically, you don't even need anything. The only thing with having no carpet or no sand or anything in there that when you toss the washers they're going to bounce right so you toss them in there if they hit the wood they may bounce right back out right with sand as soon as it hits it it'll stay there the carpet kind of reduces the bounce so it's up to you how you want to do it so but it is now done. And then if you want to put some sort of uh, a deck sealant on there or just any wood sealant on there, you can do that to preserve it. But yeah, to, this ain't going anywhere. So if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified when I post another video. And we'll talk to you later.